Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is the Healthy Moving Podcast, the show all about helping you to exercise less, but move more so that you will feel better. I am your healthy moving enthusiast, Jen Hoffman of stayathomeyoga.com. In today's show, we're working out a plan to help you make 2015 your healthiest year yet with four simple steps. Plus, I'm answering a listener question about that mid-afternoon energy slump. Let's get started. Here we are right in the middle of one of my favorite weeks of the year, the one between Christmas and New Year's. I absolutely love the fresh start feeling that's in the air right now. Now, I know you're probably tempted to set some New Year's resolutions this week, but so often we set those resolutions without consideration of what we really need to truly be the best versions of ourselves. And here's a hint. It's probably not a certain number on your scale or clothing label. I want to invite you to instead Do four things this week that have the power to dramatically impact your health in 2015. The first one is this. If you want to make this year your healthiest year yet, you have to remember that every day, every moment, holds the possibility for a fresh start. So make a mental anchor right now that you can call on any time you need to restart in the coming year. When you feel stuck or like change is hard, you can think about these mental anchors and feel your attitude and energy level just shift. Your mental fresh start anchors are thoughts or beliefs, quotes or images that fill you with hope and they empower you to make positive change. I ask people on the Healthy Moving Facebook page to share their mental fresh start anchors. And here are some of the fantastic ones they came up with. Sarah likes a clean kitchen, just itching for her to start a new cooking project. Lee likes the fresh start power of the word hustle. Erin says cleaning out one drawer helps her to get moving in a positive direction. And I love the quote Kristen shared, traveler, there is no path. Paths are made by walking. Leslie likes a new planner and Cindy a new journal. And one more of my favorites, Andrea said, the smell of a brand new box of crayons is one of her favorite fresh start memories from childhood. I agree, Andrea. So what are your fresh start anchors that you can call on when the clean slate buzz of January 1st wears off? Identify them now and they'll serve you all year long. Okay, number two, spend some time this week reflecting and celebrating the positive. How did you feel good in and about your body this year? Maybe you got better sleep than you've had in the past, or you had more energy, less pain, or less stress. Maybe you learned to appreciate more about your human machine. I know how easy and tempting it is to gloss over this step, friends, but don't. It's critical. Okay, we've arrived at step three. Now we're ready to talk about how you'd like to feel differently in the coming year. Think about your entire self. Do you have chronic headaches? Maybe you throw your back out a couple times a year. Do you have joint or muscle pain? How about the systems of your body? How are they functioning? Do you have digestion or elimination issues? How's your stress level? How do you feel about your body? What are you saying to yourself when you're getting dressed in the morning? Remember, the best indicator of your health at the cellular level is how you're feeling. So really consider how you want to feel differently in the new year. Okay, here's the final step. As you reflect on how you'd like to feel better in 2015, it's so easy to feel overwhelmed. You might be thinking things like, it's so hard to change, or I don't have time to exercise. I've tried and failed in the past. What are the things that are making you believe that you can't really improve your health this year? Grab a piece of paper right now and write them down. Do it. Press pause. I'll wait. Okay, you have your list written on a piece of paper. Now rip 
it up. Tear it to shreds. Use that paper for confetti on New Year's Eve. Why? These thoughts come from the belief that we need to do something extra to give our body the movement nutrients that it desperately needs. We think we need this block for exercise carved out in our planner. Guess what? Your body is not shaped by what you do three to five times a week while you're working out. It's shaped by the way you move and the positions you're in when you're not moving all the time. That means you don't need more time, you need more information. You need to learn how to weave healthy moving into the fabric of your day. And I want to help you do just that. Go to healthymovingpodcast.com and click the Leave Jenna message button. Tell me one of your daily tasks that you'd like some healthy moving tips for. I promise to give them to you in future episodes. Plus, let me announce right now, I'm going to have a special edition of the Healthy Moving Podcast for you on New Year's Day. I know I normally only release on Tuesdays, but I got a special one for you this week. It's going to be an audio healthy moving class. I'm going to talk you through just a few of my favorite exercises that you can do and move along with as you listen. Don't miss it. It's going to be a good one. Friends, a good healthy moving plan takes care of your entire body as you live your life. If you'd like some coaching support to kickstart your healthiest year ever, then head on over to stayathomeyoga.com slash support. Our next challenge group is starting in January, and I have some early bird discounts on both the single pay and the installment options available to you through December 31st. By the way, let me tell you, if you're listening to this episode at 2 p.m. on a Tuesday in the middle of June, you can do these four things right now and start your healthy moving journey right where you are. It doesn't have to be January for a fresh start. Okay, I'll be back in just a second with this week's Q&A. Hey Jen, this is Anthony from New York. I'm a big fan of the podcast and everything you're doing. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about, uh, I don't know, one of the things that I do when I get stressed or when I feel like I need to, you know, keep moving is, you know, you go for the coffee, you go to the Starbucks. And I'm wondering if there's anything you can do naturally to kind of give yourself a boost. And I was hoping you can, you know, share some thoughts about this on the show. It would be really helpful for me and I'm sure other people out there. Thanks a lot, Jen. What a great question, Anthony. And just as you said, I think this question applies to a lot of people. Many of us experience that mid-afternoon energy slump. So here's a really simple tip. You have the power to shift your energy with your breath, specifically to play with the difference in the length of your inhale versus your exhale. When the exhalation is longer than the inhale, it's relaxing and calming for the body. But when the reverse is true, when the inhalation is longer than the exhalation, it's alerting and energizing to the body. So you can just consciously play with that while you're doing your daily life. Or if you want to add a little bit of movement to it, one of my favorite breath and moving patterns for getting a quick boost in the middle of the afternoon is the breath of joy. Let me talk you through it. It has a three-part inhale and a one-part exhale. So that makes the inhalation longer than the exhalation. Here's how you move with it. For the first part of the inhale, you raise your arms out in front of you, kind of like zombie arms. The second part of the inhale, you raise your arms out to the side at shoulder height as if you're making a T position. The third part of the inhale, you bring your arms up overhead just like you were a referee making the touchdown symbol in a football game. Then you follow those three inhalations with a big, quick exhalation by folding forward and releasing your arms down to your sides. Three-part inhale, one-part exhale, sure to give you a boost better than coffee. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this helpful, be sure to head to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and review. And you can find the show notes and links to join me for a free live class each month over at healthymovingpodcast.com. If you have a question you'd like me to answer on air or some feedback you'd like to give on the show, you can call me at 201-580-MOVE or you can click the Leave Jenna message link in the show notes. 
and you can help me start this healthy moving revolution by telling your friends and family about the show. We have Facebook and Twitter links over on the site to make spreading the word a breeze for you. Until next time, friends, keep moving.